Hello there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Julius AI to analyze data that you provided. Now, Julius AI is a AI data analyst. You can just provide it with data and get charts and graphs, insights, advanced analysis, problem solving, and reports using it. If you want to start using it, you can go over to their website. Over here, there are a few use cases for it. And you can see that all the work that it can do, for example, it can automatically prep your data and focus on the important points. You can ask it questions related to a specific data that you provided. You can export files instantly. And there's much more you can do with this tool. If you want to get started, you can just click this button. And it's going to take you to the login page. If you don't have an account, you can sign up. To make it easier, I'll just go ahead with Google. Just hit continue and allow it. After that, it's going to take you to the main page of Julius AI. You can go over to the top right and change some AI settings. You can personalize it from changing it from the de default mode to Cloud 3 or GPT-4, but you do need to upgrade for that. You can change it to the plain mode, which will allow you to chat directly with the model and it disables all the underlying prompts and tools. And you can select these few tools. For example, if you want, you can like enable code, search or advanced reasoning. But in order to change any of these, you need to upgrade. After that, you can personalize it or the exact use that you want. For example, if you want to use it for maths, marketing, sales, science, healthcare, and etc., you can just select these. And you can also provide it with general instructions and change the tone. For example, friendly. Or if you want, you can choose it to be a more professional tone. Otherwise, you can change your language by typing it out here. And hit save. On the left, you have your account details. You can go over to your account settings. Over here, you can upgrade, see your usage, your keys, and your general settings. For example, if you want to change the theme, or if you want to delete your account. After that is your documents. Here's your tips and tricks for using Judeus AI. Your frequently asked questions, so if you're having if you're running into a common error, you can just go over here and scroll and it will most likely have an answer to that. You can view your use cases over here. See the how to videos, which are basically just tutorials on how to use Julius AI for different stuff. Or you can just view their start guides. Over here, it's just going to give you a step on how to use it properly. After that is your files. Over here, you can either upload it, some files with your data in it, or like upload your Google Sheets URL for it. And finally is your chats. Over here, you're going to be talking to the actual AI itself to solve whatever you want. There's also links to your Discord and the Twitter for Julius AI. If you want to start talking to it, you're going to hit new chat and over here just start. You can upload a file, you can change your models and all the different settings over here too, as you could in the AI settings. If you don't know what to start over here, you can just hit click get started and view a few examples too. So this is your use case that say marketing how to use a how to use ai to optimize marketing campaigns i'm going to click this and over here it just gave me all the all the output generated by julius ai when this question was asked by another user so for the first part but the first part let's say let's Plot income versus total spend 
with a regression line and it generated you this after that you can enter more prompts to turn it into different types of graphs and plot it if you want to actually provide it with data and ask it the question you can go over to their new chat feature and over here you're going to first of all upload your document I'm just going to upload a Google Sheet. You can just provide it with a Google Docs URL. Copy it and paste it here. And you can just write the name of it. Connect it. And then wait for it to upload. After it's uploaded, you're going to ask a question related. So I'm just going to ask it, what is the most commonly sold pastry? Just type it out here. And then hit enter. Now it's going to generate your answer. So just wait for it. As you can see, it took data from the document that we provided and then gave us answers according to it so this is the info that was actually in our data if you want to see that we can open the spreadsheet right here and if you scroll around over here you can see that the data will be matched with the one in our spreadsheet and down here it told us the most commonly sold base tree along with the quantity of the units sold. I'm going to ask it another follow-up question. Let's say we wanted to visualize the monthly pastry sales over time with a bar chart. I'm just going to copy the question and paste it in. Wait for it to generate your answer again. After it's done, it's going to show you the results. So. Our bar chart is over here. If you want to see it properly, you can just like click on it or use control plus scroll view to zoom. It also gives us the keys on the side. So it shows which color is which exact pastry. And if you want to edit the graph, you can do that too. Or if you want to download it, you can also do that. In your editing area, you can change up the legend, its position. So let's say we want it on the upper left. It's going to change that up. But if you don't know where to put it, you can just select the best position option and it's going to do that for you. You can also change the size of it. Let's say we want it to be a bit bigger. 30 by 16. And it's going to increase the size of the graph according to the size that you put. I'm just going to cancel it because I don't want to change anything. But if you want to download your graph, you're just going to hit this download button. And it's going to save onto your computer as a PNG file. If you want the Python code that's used to generate your graph you can click this on the top and over here it's going to show your entire code that's used to generate this graphic you can copy that and edit it according to your liking so if you don't know how to edit it over here but you're good at programming you can change up the code yourself and then generate it that sums up the video thank you for watching and goodbye